Here we're testing a Scott Foil 2013. Comes stock with the Shimano Tegra DI2 electronic shifting. Some people are fans, some people aren't. I'm a bit of a fan. I'll still ride mechanical though. It's got a Mavi Cosmic wheel set. Not too bad. Very smooth wheel set. Not the lightest, but pretty good value for money. Pretty strong. Standard spokes. It's got a Richie integrated seat post there. Easy to set up. I'll take with brakes. Quite a stiff setup in the, in the rear end. And so the Scott Foil is like an aero style frame. Full carbon, carbon forks, carbon steer, alloy bars and stem. Quite stiff. Quite stiff up front. With the oversized bottom bearing head tube there. A common feature in today's carbon bikes. It's quite a nice bike. I was pretty impressed. Lower head tube than the CR1. A bit more racy feel. So riding the bike definitely felt quite stiff. Bottom bracket again, a lot of a lot of volume down there. See, only is quite a lot of carb material bulking up that uh, chain stay down tube seat tube join there. Electronic shifting works pretty good as well. Takes a while to get used to though. So level of quality in bikes these days, 2013 is. Definitely a step double lot in the last five years. Scott comes with a five year frame warranty, which I personally think is the minimum you want for a frame warranty. If you haven't broken it in five years, you're not going to break it pretty much. The carbon bikes these days though, are all pretty similar, coming out of mostly similar factories. So, a good idea is just to test ride a bike first. Test ride, then decide, and find a shop that's got a good bike fit system, and you're laughing. And find bike shops that are going to take a time to fit you up to the bike, because your bike fits what you want, and then when you get your bike fit, get your wide out pen and mark all your measurements up in case anything slips. So my bottom line opinion of this Scott Foil, pretty good value for money, but light enough, stiff enough, looks pretty cool, can't complain.